rolling. Um, so, I, I decided what I'm going to build. I would like your opinion. Um, it's called the Life Star. I need to make a specific product which I can manufacture with my hands while engaging in conversations and it's a globe. I'm thinking 18 inches in diameter and at its exterior. Uh, it's supposed to have three components. One is a core of 12, 12 to 15 inches and that's just think of it as an empty sphere 15 inches in diameter into which can be placed anything that's a based on a 15 inch sphere. So the core of the, of the globe, the, the toy globe or the model globe can be made so that the core is totally empty. Now around the core goes a framework of either metal, metal or some kind of a cheap composite. Maybe like like a geodesic sphere, but much more open. You know, not real tight, but with open spaces. Maybe like 12 pieces about this big that work together to create uh, a sphere. That's in a way that's the heart. The core is truly the heart, but around like, like I say, the core is a is a negative space until it's filled with a product that's been invented. I have one. Um, so. In its initial form, you'd just be sitting there with a sphere, and it would be openable. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how. Around that metal framework would go a crust for my globe, you know, which might be a, a half inch or three quarters inch thick foam of some kind. Um, I'm looking to manufacture these by hand, a couple hundred, before I have enough parental investors to really jump into the next stage of my business. Uh, it's supposed to be about five different things. One, it's a globe. Two. It's uh, it's going to be an at least as we send them out initially they're going to be an alternative globe as in the face looks like we, what we hope the world would be like in uh, when Hannah's 18 you know like so Las Vegas for example would actually be on you know where the Sahara Desert is the whole of like Africa would actually be the light continent um, just by color or whatever Africa might have it its own color it's set up so you have. A regular globe, you have a globe with an alternative face to it, and you have, uh, my, my hands aren't in this, are they? No? Alright. You have uh, an alternative face, and then you have the thing, you know, you might remember Sphere Risk, which is me taking the game of Risk and putting it onto a globe. So we have that, so with the foam, we can, in, in the initial versions, we can let kids play like a game of Sphere Risk, like, uh, you've seen Coming to America? McDougal's, you know, we could have our own, like, non-infringing version of Risk. Using, like I say, in the beginning, just thumbtacks. You know, later, probably little vacuum pieces that would, you know, stick to the smoother surface of the globe, assuming that you you made or bought a skin that you could, you know, stretch over the globe that would give you, like, that non-porous surface, and it might look like a completely different game board that had nothing to do with the real Earth. It might be a Mars skin, you know, or a Moon skin. Um, so we got globe, alternative-looking globe, and a globe that's capable of playing three-dimensional board games. That's, those, that's all in the crust. What I'm trying to do is to make these and with my hands and, and travel the country recording episodes with parents that I meet at festivals and, and whatnot and to say, all right, I'm building a company. Here's, here's, the, here's the constitution. Here's the mission statement. Here's you know, the, the documents we have to have legally established ourselves. And what I'm doing is I'm making these products that I think ch some children will absolutely love and some parents will absolutely love. And then I say to the parent, I don't sell these. I make these, I travel, and I'm making a show. But if you want to invest in my company, which is designed to peak in about 18 years when your baby is much older and finally reaching adulthood, then you, maybe you give me $100, you know, at a street fair. Instead of a painting, you buy a globe from me. The globe costs me about 40 bucks. I generate $60 in revenue for the company that they, they then become a democratic citizen of. Um, we write off the cost of the globe, although I'm spending 40 on it and selling it for 100 we let them keep $100 worth of stock and say, assuming we have to assume that this company is going to grow and build great things, so we're just going to let you keep $100 worth of stock. Even you know, if We're going to eat the cost of manufacturing the thing. My core idea is, I'm sure you're familiar somewhere in your brain with my integrate table, you know, my table that has pages, it's basically a giant Rolodex. So inside of the globe is going a, a, a Rolodex or a Globodex, and the cards that would ordinarily be um, like Naruto or baseball cards are actually cards with all of the ideas I have that could potentially make contributions to the venture. So the kid, if they buy one right in the beginning, it'll have one of every one of my ideas, even Trees Gump is an idea, you know, it's like Trees Gump and on the back it explains, it's like a picture of me as Trees Gump and it explains what Trees Gump is and, and a kid could theoretically believe like I really want to make that movie, you know, I want to see Trees Gump so he might try to trade his ceiling fan air cleaner cards for Trees Gump cards, you know. <laughs> 
Um, okay. 